Oh! Oh, hey guys. Some salt and pepper. And that's all we're gonna buy. That's all we're gonna buy. Welcome back to Clark's Kitchen. Today we're gonna make this from this. Today we're going to be making spicy squid with chunky tzatziki. We are going to need half a grated cucumber, Greek yogurt, chopped up mint, and a little bit of chopped up garlic. On this side we're going to need grapeseed oil, smoked paprika, dried chili flakes, and Patagonia squid. For the tzatziki, we are going to want to get all the moisture out of the cucumber. This is super important, or else you're going to end up with very, very runny tzatziki, which is not great. So we take your grated cucumber, you're going to put it into a cloth, and you're going to squeeze it out. I think these things are pretty much 99% water. Once you've got the moisture out, you're going to open your cloth. Guys, use a clean cloth, you don't want your tzatziki tasting like like old fish or whatever you can blast with it. You're going to put that into a bowl, break it up nicely. Then you're going to take your yogurt. For half a cucumber, I'm going to use three tablespoons of yogurt. Bam, in it goes. Give it a little bit of a mix. Again, guys, it's raw garlic like the last video. Use a tiny amount. You don't need a lot. Bomb that in there. Give it a bit of a mix. Add your chopped mint. We're gonna use, say, half a teaspoon. I'm using spearmint, it's got a nice strong aroma to it. Whatever mints you prefer, go for it. Mix that up. A little bit of black pepper. And guys, that is tzatziki. So simple, not over complicated. Keep it very chunky. You don't want a few little things of cucumber and all this yogurt. It just turns into this runny, real runny plate. So this, I'm pretty sure most Greek people will agree, apart from mint. They're gonna challenge me on that one, but I like mint, so it's gonna be guide tzatziki, not Greek. Let's go make some fire in the kitchen and cook the squid. We are gonna to wanna to get your pan super hot. Now I'm using a skillet pan. It's quite a thick pan, so it's gonna hold a lot of heat. It's got some nice grooves and ridges, which is gonna give a little bit of a charred look. Guys, if you don't have one, it's not the end of the world. This is my personal preference. If you've got a normal frying pan, it's just as good. So I've put some of the grapeseed oil on here, not a lot. This is a healthy cooking channel, not deep fried channel. So we've got that. We're gonna get it super, super hot. That is the trick with this. Whilst this is getting heat hot, we can move over to here. So here we have the squid. Get your squid very dry. When you get it, clean it out. Make sure that all the moisture is out as much as possible. What helps a lot is if you leave it open after you've dried it off in the fridge for a night. The fridge will naturally kind of dry it out, almost harden a little bit, which is what you want. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be hard on the plate, but it just gets super soft in the pan. So, I'm using Patagonia squid. It's a beautiful squid, very thin, it's a nice flavor. If you guys can only get normal um, calamari or whatever is your preference, it's just as good. So we're going to put some smoked paprika, some chili flakes, salt and pepper, squid, and that is all we're going to marinate with. I love a bit of spice, so I'm going to add a little bit, quite a bit. And then we've got the smoked paprika. This gives a really beautiful smokiness to it. Pepper, some salt. Beautiful. Nicely coated and we are ready to put it in the pan. Guys, you want to use grapeseed oil. It's a beautiful, healthy oil. It can hold a very high temperature, as you can see. Please don't use extra virgin olive oil. It's not great for, for this intense heat. So 
So we are super smoking and we're gonna drop it in. Beautiful. All we need is between 30 to 50 seconds. Our squid is done. Let's go add it to the tzatziki. Okay, so we've got the tzatziki. We've got the beautiful squid. It's still super hot out of the pan. We've got a little bit of micro herbs just for a bit of garnish. You're gonna take your tzatziki, put it on the base. And you're just gonna spread it out a little bit. You can do this in a bowl. I prefer a plate. It just gives me a little bit more sort of leeway to eat it off. On it goes. Take your squid. You guys, you're just gonna put it out there. I'm keeping some of the juices that came off it because it's so much beautiful flavor in there. Word, this is gonna be delicious. Delicious. So that's pretty much enough for a nice, healthy, quick lunch. Take a bit of your greens, little flavor bombs, spread it out. And beautiful. A nice, healthy summer dish. Simple, healthy, beautiful.